Hey! I just started the North Coast 500. We're heading, uh, just left Inverness, got some shopping done. We've got to eat on route, but we've got some goodies for whenever we need them. And the most important thing, we've got our wine for whatever we camp at night time. Sometimes it might be a campsite, other times it might be, well, probably be wild camping, wild camping all the way. Really nice, great to be on holiday. We're just day driving it, uh, and we're got a pinpoint every 41 mile ready for our bike parking it next year. We're recording the routes, so we're in your we're map apps, uh -huh. trails or something? Aye, something, all trails I all think trails. it's got. A really good app. So we could be on a beach tonight, could be in a forest, or we could be in a campsite. It's our choice. But one thing's for sure, we're taking yous along with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is just just uh, arrived at Bewley, we're heading through. We're actually heading for Apple Cross today, which from Inverness to Apple Cross is just 80 mile, 81 mile, and then we'll get a bite to there. So we should, we should reach there, time is 2 o'clock now, we should reach there at about 4 o'clock, 4.30. There's people sitting outside. You can just see a deer poking its head up there. watching us. A beautiful scenery. This is the life. Nice wind to keep the midges away. Oh aye. <laughs> Very good. Aye, the road we're stopping and starting and stopping and starting with this single track road but it's very very busy. But that's the way it's got to be. To get to the nice wee places. We've just come in the tent because the midges are starting to bite a wee bit. They always come out of that magic hour for the day. So it's good that we've got the the disco tent. Kenny's looking for a wee bit of music he's got to put on. And of course, a wee bit of wine. And a wee bit of John Denver. What did you say, Kenny? Definitely. Oh, aye. yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Wish, Wish you, you were here. here. <laughs> Magic! <laughs> Tent Life TP11 and Apple Cross. <laughs> Real good. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. We've just left Apple Cross. We were in Apple Cross campsite last night, had a great sleep, great showers. And we're just travelling to Shieldig, up past Gerloch, towards Ullapool, and then see where the day takes us after that. It's a fantastic morning, and we are ready to rock. Beautiful. Time is quarter past seven. We got up at six o'clock. We're early risers. Like to get the best of the day. You stopped off for a, a picture. <laughs> See the hills away over there in the distance. 
very very still a lot of midges about <laughs> okay we're in the wee seaside town of Shieldaig just came around the coast for Apple Cross beautiful perfect kayaking day I'll certainly come back here it's Sunday though so there's not much open early But we'll continue on up that road and then over. <coughs> right, we've got to head on because we're on the breakfast hunt. We've had a packet of crisps to keep us going the new in the chalky bar, but we're wanting a cup of coffee and a roll. We are currently at Ullapool okay. and we're going to have a cup of tea and an ice cream. Good to stretch the legs. Aye, definitely. We're making good time. As I say, we don't know where we're going to end up tonight camping, but it's going to be very pleasant. We're just in the main street. Behind me, as you can see, Stack Polly, Stack Polly, st whatever, whatever way you pronounce it, in the distance there, and then just beyond through the hills, you can see peeking up about there. It's Sylvine, which I've never seen before, so that's magic. It's glorious. You can see a nice river down there. Loads of places for camping. And the good thing is we can stop wherever we want. So looking forward to cycling this. Gonna be good. And I'm gonna enjoy the training leading up to next year. Yes. Definitely. If we've got weather like this, it's gotta be spectacular. getting busy. Good thing is, there ain't no midges here. The downside is, we've traded midges for flying ants. Look at them. They'll go away later on. We hope. Can I get in the tent, so that's the main thing. That ain't pepper, Glenn. That ain't pepper. We're going to go and do it in the restaurant just shortly and get a bite to eat. And then we're going to come back up and have a wee, a wee flag in a wine. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Sango Sands camping site. Just inside Durness. Day two. <laughs> Day three, Join us, join us. Aye. 
Monday morning, six o'clock in the morning, before the shower, we're late getting up early, we're packing away, and we've woke up to a beautiful sunrise. I've seen more spectacular, but it'll do for this Monday morning. Looking forward to a nice breakfast this morning. The rain has to start coming in, not tonight, but tomorrow night. So, tomorrow night will probably be ending up here. So, we'll, the day will probably be back around to Inverness. So, it's just a recce to see what the lay of the land is. Doesn't matter how long it takes us. Right. Well, we're finally here, John O'Groats, and there's a sea hearth in. So, we're not going to give much of a view. Heading up to the famous post. A couple of touristy shops, we caravan site over there. Drink the cup, the poison overflowing. I will lift you up, watch over where you're going. The first one in, the last one gone. I'll be the rock. To stand upon for you, for you. My spirit aches, and I can't stop this river flowing. In fear, I take. Each labored breath I draw in knowing That this could be my life, my final hour But faith and hope and love give me the power for you Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You are with me. I'll be your salvation, though the storms surround me. For you 
the cup The poison overflowing I will lift you up Watch over where you're going The first one in The last one gone I'll be the rock to stand upon The first one in, the last one gone I'll be the rock to stand 